Hi everyone, it's Natasha and I'm going to do a uh, what's in my bag for my Louis Vuitton Turnell MM in the Noir. So here it is. And let's get it started. So I'm going to do the pocket in the front and this is very roomy. I think it reaches down here because I can feel something. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. And this is actually, oh, let me do a little retouch. I love this. I will do a review of this. This is the Essence Kiss the Frog lipstick. It feels like a lip balm. It's very, very hydrating. I've never felt like my lips were drying at all. It feels like a lip balm. Um, it's like a, it's like a very tinted lip balm. Um, it doesn't really necessarily feel to me like a 100% lipstick. If that makes any sense, so there it is. I'm just going to do it this way because I'm having a hard time. My real lip balm. Uh, floss. I need that. Oh, this is just um, a card. I had my hair cut. If you guys followed me on Instagram, um, I chopped off, well, the stylist chopped off 15 inches of my hair. And this is, you know, it probably was an inch or two more when she cut it, um, when she first cut it. And then, um, you know, to make the, to just make it nicer, um, 15 inches, I was able to donate for children with hair loss. Um, I used to just donate my hair to Locks of Love, but then they never really appreciated my donation. I never got anything back. Like. I never got a certificate, I never got a thank you know, a letter, anything, nothing. And I've been contributing to them two or three times now. And my husband always asks, like, did they ever contact you, email you, anything? And I said, no, never, they never reach out. So um, when I got my hair cut, I know it's kind of like, you know, going somewhere else. But um, anyway, she was like, why don't you go with children with hair loss because they do not charge these kids to get the wigs and I was pretty impressed with that so I did research it and I asked around and a lot of people um well a few other people mentioned that children with hair loss is definitely better um so anyway this is just oh it's a Costco receipt Costco this needs to be thrown out I got a pen this is this is Probably one of my favorite pens. It's not my favorite pen. Whoops. That was a, um, so this is a Tiffany and Co. Um, card. I went there and asked for a card. So another bunch of receipts. I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is um, USPS. Yeah, that's garbage. My keys to my car. Um, let's see. Ulta receipt. You guys can see that. Um, yeah, um, I returned some stuff because they sucked. They sucked a lot. Oh, and this is a receipt for my haircut. That's garbage. So I'm going to do a garbage pile right there. I think this is my all-purpose cleaner, you know, just in case you go somewhere, especially the bathroom, and I just kind of spray. <laughs> um, this is um, my lotion. I got this from my dermatologist. I do go to my dermatologist very frequently because I have sensitive skin, and I get, I just get allergies in certain situations going up, especially when I got pregnant. I was going in there so often. I just found this lying around and I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it. This is the Dr. Scholl's for her rub relief stick. Um, since I do not really wear a lot of high heels lately or now, that's why I just found that randomly and I just put it in my bag just in case. This is, um, oh, that's just a restaurant receipt. And it's another Hard for the hairstylist she was pretty nice and that's empty so let, let, let me show you it goes way down there it goes right here if you can see that protruding let me see so it goes all the way to the bottom 
that's how big the pocket is and I love it. I feel like this is similar to the Aina or Jenna or Aina, whatever you want to call it. But the beauty of it is that it has these long straps. Um, I always thought the Aina was so beautiful. However, however, the problem was the, the handle drop was too short for me. I have used this and I will do a modeling shot later. I have used this with just that. If I do have a thick coat on, um, this will be uncomfortable and maybe kind of hard to put on and stay on. So I do use this. I have used this as a crossbody, um, and it is pretty long. It is not adjustable though. So there you go. This is um, in Noir Pebbled Leather, and this is canvas, and I love how they did that. This is just pebbled leather through and through, front and back, the same as here, and this is kind of hard and a little... I wouldn't say flat, like it's a little bit poofy, and I think I think they did this with all their bags now, ever since they probably discovered with the Speedy that this might be better, because I, I think there were some people that bought the Speedy um, Classic. I don't know if it's the Bentier had it. I think so. But I think about 10 years ago, they changed it from flat to poofy, and I think it was just because they just noticed that it this kind of area kind of tears a lot um well not like in a month but like you know like 15 years down the line 20 years down the line i think they noticed that um a lot of the bags this was a big issue you know like everything else would be perfectly fine and this was like a common issue so anyway this is what my bag looks like right now and I wanted to do the what's in my bag today because I wanted to sort things out and obviously clear out the clutter of receipts. So I have my scarf because it's still pretty cold out. And there have been times that I just wear a jacket and I don't wear a coat. I have my fur hat. Like I love this hat because if you can see it covers my ears and I don't have because my ears do get cold really fast and it goes back all the way down here. And I love it. This is 100% um, fur. I love the hat. Oh, this is um, my Ulta receipt. So I don't. I don't. I, oh, I need to take this out. Actually, not garbage, but I need to take that out. Okay. I have my sunglasses. Those are my Versace sunglasses. I love these glasses, and I should clean them. Wait. Yeah, I do have a spray to clean lenses now. And um, I got that for free from when I got um, my glasses. I love these. Yep. It's so different from the other glasses I have. I have um, Prada and um, Burberry. I have like cheapo sunglasses and I give those to my husband because... He says he doesn't really like um, designer sunglasses because he's, I don't know what it is, but when I use the cheapo sunglasses, I kid you not, it's it's not like I'm going around, rolling around, or like throwing around the stuff, even though it's like $5 or 10 or 20 I don't do that. But they always fall apart on me. I don't know why. When my husband uses it, like the way he uses it, he like throw, throws it in his car. Like when he's sitting in the seat and he throws it in one of those pockets. I never even do that, but for him, it never breaks apart. I don't know why. So he said, you know what, with the sunglasses, he said, I don't really like the, he doesn't like designer glasses. Cause I was thinking like, do you, you know, you want me to get one of those? He's like. I don't know if it's a guy thing, but they're always like, no, I don't really like that. That's kind of frou-frou. And I don't really understand. It doesn't connect for me. But to him, he doesn't need sunglasses as much as I do. And I think that was his bigger argument too. He's like, I will use it from time to time, but my eyes are not as sensitive as yours. Which is weird because his eyes are light and I have dark eyes. And usually when you have light eyes, you're more sensitive to light. Dark eyes are usually um, better. With uh, handling the light, I, I don't. Um, and he, light eyes usually can see better in the dark. So that's a little trivia for you. So these are my new eyeglasses. It's uh, 
It's Tiffany and Co. There you go. I'm not gonna put it on because they do have, they are prescription, but this is what they look like right there. I like it. I'll just put it on like this and I won't open my eyes because I don't want to like vomit or anything. So that's what they look like. <laughs> I like it. It's very, it's pretty. It's got like rhinestones, I think, on the side. Um, so those are my eyeglasses. Um, I have this gigantic can cream, but you know, it's like a third left. So it's Earth Therapeutic Guard. Gardner's hand repair. I love this. It's very light, but it's very very hydrating. Um, I think it has something to do with let's see Whoa uh, I didn't know that they have fenugreek in this lotion so it has coconut Different kinds of coconut oatmeal shea butter mm. It's the AHA alpha hydroxy acid complex. So that's what it is that it makes it that makes it hydrating. Um, but it's very, very light. I don't use a lot of it. Although I also have this lotion that I get from my dermatologist. It's almost gone and I love it still. So. Oh, this is because we took a trip. And <clears throat> I mean a road trip. I took a trip and these are my vitamins so we left really early in the day so this is breakfast lunch and dinner those are three ziploc bags that i just put in there so i have to put that away somewhere i have my um carpe diem planner because if you haven't if you don't know the louis vuitton um e5 size or the large ring agenda or the agenda and the gm as some people call it is being discontinued um, I think they're going to redesign it. They said they're going to redesign it and they don't know when it's going to come out. They're hoping it's going to come out sometime this year, but it really depends if they still have like, um, quantities of the old version left. Um, so I'm kind of hoping everybody buys whatever's left because I want the new version so I can get it. <laughs> so this is, I will do, um, an update on this so I did put in my dividers and I think it's pretty to me to me there you go um so that is it and I knew to, I, I do need to take that out because I use that every day and um we just had a trip a road trip and I did have to bring that with me and this is uh, one of my cosmetic cases. I have my sunscreen right here. I have my mint. I have contact lens, cleaner, and a container as well. There we go. Oh, I also have this Chinese herbal ointment for if you didn't get that, that was for hemorrhoids. It just in case, in case, you know, like I'm out of the house and it just feels awkward and painful and whatever. And so I have that just in case. Have I used that lately? No, but it's good to have. So I have my mini pochette. And let's see what do I have in here. Oh, I have the rest of the Essence lipstick. I have, um, my oil absorbing sheet, which I completely forgot that I did. It's a good thing I did this. I have um, extra lip balm. I have a compact. I know it feels like it's a clown car, right? So let me put this aside. So let me just take this out right there. See, lipstick, lipstick, which I should really. And I have my Elaine Call lipstick. I have my NARS lipstick. I have another um, hand cream, which I should put in the front of the pocket of my bag. I have a lip balm. If you can, if you've noticed, I like lip products a lot. Um, this is the Clarence um, Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I, I actually like this a lot too. It doesn't really have a tint, even though it's got like color on it, and it's got like the orange, this one, and then a light pink one. 
and there is no tint when you put it on. There is, I do not notice a tint. Like it just still looks like my lips. Um, eye drops. And of course, my oil and strawberry shade. Look at all this stuff. This came out of here. Yep, this can definitely pack a lot. It's like a clown car. And that's empty. And there are no pockets in this, so let's put it back inside. That's why I really love the mini pochette because um, it does it does pack in a lot, especially for its size. Oh, this was also included, like see, and that will close. But I will take the lotion out. Look at look at that. It shuts very easily too. But I will take this out, not because it's making it not because of the space but because I want this to be easier access so mini pochette I wish that they sell the mini pochette in monogram and they this is like a different color like black and I will definitely buy that because I don't like the demi bean or the demi azure and I don't like the ones with like different patterns like the, the the limited editions I don't like those because they do come off easily um, but I do like the monogram and if they did sell this in black, I will buy it again in the monogram. Um, cause I really, really love it. And I think it, I, you know, I use that a lot. This is my Sarah wallet. If you haven't seen it, um, I do have, um, the re I have a repair story for this and how wonderful they were. And, um, the glazing is still pretty perfect. Like it's brand new. So I love that. Let's see, I have my cute little brush. Yep, it works. <laughs> and I have my clay, or this is also called the key pouch. Um, I have earphones in there and a um, hair tie. Because this is not technically a scrunchie, but it is not a rubber band. And those are the only things I have in there. So this bag has two pockets, just right here, one here and one here. Oh, I also have a lip balm in there too. Another lip balm. Yes, I like my lip products a lot. So there you go, it's empty now. Um, so I'm gonna do matcha for you guys. I'm just gonna close this up. So from the front, let me just do that. From the front, that's what it looks like. It kind of reminds me the way it like curves like this, like shape from the, the side view of the back. It reminds me of a sienna. I don't know why, but it does. I, I think it's just the shape of it. And from the side, like that. I'm 5'5", five five, and I'm not going to give you my weight. <laughs> Um, and this is from the back and cross body from the back like that and look at it on the back here if you're interested in putting it that way um, from the front oh it should have been from the side and from the side so it just went up a little bit but not too much um, and because I'm just wearing a sweater, I should be able to do the um, the top handle. So this is what it looks like. To me, it is still a little tight for me. I don't like it too tight to my armpit. I just don't like that. It makes me feel uncomfortable. So this is just um, from the side view, the front view. And oops, the back view. It doesn't feel awkward at all though when I do do it this way. Um, I think maybe in the summer I won't really like it that way. But for now I have used that, you know, with sweaters and jackets and stuff. Um, when I just do like take it out of the car real quick and I'll just put it over my shoulder like that. Um, and I will do another mod shot with my stuff in there. Oh, I think I just ruined my sweater. So let me just put everything in. So you guys can see that too. I'm not gonna put that in. Um, so I'm gonna 
speed that up. I should probably put my my clay in there. Um, I don't know if I want this in there, but I'll put it in. Okay. And I never use these tabs, by the way. I'm sorry if I'm all over the place. I never, um, and the reason that I feel like I'm all over the place with that is because I never really use these. I get it. Some people might use this to, to open and close the zipper, but I don't. I feel like it's going to um, pull on here and will disrupt the bag. And to be quite honest, when I do, when I open my zipper, if it, if I'm holding it on my over my shoulder, all I do is just do that. There, I, I feel like there is no need to do this because the the zipper is just so beautiful. But you know. What I noticed, Louis Vuitton zippers have always been really smooth. I've never had an issue with that. Um, so, no issues at all like that. Like, you know how there are certain bags that you have to hold it tight right here to open it like this? With this one, I just kind of hold it gently. <laughs> Let, let's do that again. Yep. Like, I don't have to grab it, you know? Some people will like, well, if you keep grabbing the tabs over here, no, I'm not doing that. I mean, these are, I've had this for maybe one or two weeks and these are trying to curl already. Um, but I don't think it's gonna curl as bad as if it was Vaquetta. Um, To me, I think if they just stopped over here and this was all just, um, uh, what is that, like stitched on, I think that might be better because um, I don't see the need for it to have this kind of tab over here. So anyway, um, let's do this one first. Because I have all these bags in there, like um, the cosmetic case and stuff, I don't really see, I don't think I do need a um, organizer because it's a little bit structured in the bottom. I do think that if it was like more of like a speedy, um, then I might. But you know, I do have a organizer for my No Way and I think it's just the shape of the overall of the bag. Like I think because this is narrower than a No Way, then it prob that's probably why I do not think I need an organizer. Someone suggested, she's really cute, she has a different um, channel. Um, and she, she has this exact one in the PM size and she does have a organizer in there and she does, she said that it does help her, but you know, an organizer is always a personal ref preference. And to me, I don't think I do need that one for this one. So this is a little heavy now because of my, my, um, planner in there, but I want you guys to see what it looks like when it's full. So that's what it looks like from the side to the front of just the shoulder bag and the back. And I'm gonna do cross body like so from the side. If I put the bag on the back, from my side right here, if it's cross body, or from the side view as well, and in the front like so. And if I did crossbody like so. Um, this is somewhat heavy, but it doesn't um, dig in my shoulder because the straps, these are these are wider than a CD bandier strap. So that's why I think that. Okay, so the top handle part. So that's what it's gonna look like from the front. From the side and from the back full okay so there you go first uh, first impression with the what's in my bag I love this bag I love 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 it I am glad I never got the Estrella which is similar to this one because this one I do love a lot. I'm, I'm not sure if the Estrella did have a pocket in the front, but I do remember it was 
pretty similar to this one. Um, I really didn't like the Estrella. I don't know. I like this one a lot more, I think, because of the canvas right here. And um, I think the Estrella was was um, both sides is whatever is the color of the trim was that was the strap. This one is one side is the canvas and the other side is the leather. And I love that. So I just love canvas. I think it's just so tough, you know. So if you have a, any questions, comments, suggestions, or you just want to chit chat and um, you're curious about the bag, feel free to ask me and put that down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll know when I have new um, uploads. Before I forget, because I almost did and I knew I was going to, this is um, canvas lining. I do prefer the canvas lining over the microfiber because this is tougher than a microfiber. So there you have it guys. This is the Louis Vuitton turnout in the MM size in the trim color of Noir. Thank you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.